Hey, what's up guys? So today's video is gonna be way different than any video I've really put out on this channel, but I literally just got an email on one of my other channels that I run because we run like a ton of different channels. So I just got this email from YouTube. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna make a video about it. So if you guys are interested in the new YouTuber partner program, then stay tuned. All right, so like I said, I have a few other channels that I run and I just got this email stating today we are announcing changes to the YouTube partner program while our goal remains to keep the YouTube partner program open to as many channels as possible we recognize we need more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem snippet that they threw in there of what's changing so they say under the new eligibility requirements announced today for YouTube channel in order to meet the YouTube partner program, you must attain a new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months. So within the last year, you must acquire at least 4,000 hours of watch time on your channel and have 1,000 subscribers. Now this is going to be going into effect on February 20th of this year. Now the funny thing that I find in this is I, I'm not really affected by this. My channel isn't affected by it, uh, the one that I'm put, posting this on. It's just interesting to me because I understand, because I've been doing YouTube, obviously I have the silver play button right here. So I've been doing this for a while. I've, I've been on YouTube since 2007. And the whole reason that they're doing this is because they're saying we're trying to safeguard our YouTube revenue. So we're trying to protect YouTubers and ad revenue and the relationships with companies uh, because if you guys haven't heard by now, there's a lot of companies that don't wanna work with YouTube anymore because they don't really have a way to filter out their content of creators on the website. Also, if you're wondering, McKenna and I are gonna be doing a P.O. Box video right now. If you guys don't know, I have another YouTube channel with my wife. We have like 55,000 subscribers, so the link is gonna be up here and in the description if you guys wanna follow us on there. Uh, but after I shoot this, we're gonna do this P.O. Box video. But I just wanted to get this out because I literally just got the email like eight minutes ago. It's funny to me because they're putting these thresholds and they're saying it's because we want to safeguard and protect creator revenue. Now the whole reason that they're even talking about we need to protect is because for one, the biggest incident was PewDiePie. Uh, I believe this was last year. Uh, all that stuff that happened with him and a bunch of advertisers started pulling out from YouTube because of what PewDiePie had posted in one of his videos or a few of his videos and advertisers were like, yeah, that's not what we wanna portray to our customers so we're just not gonna advertise with you guys. So YouTube was like, oh crap, we need to start you know, doing things different, trying to protect uh, our money and the creator's money. Well then, Logan Paul recently happened, that was uh, New Year's Day, I believe, on YouTube, that he posted the video with the dead body in the Japanese suicide forest. And for one, Logan Paul is a total jerk and idiot when he goes to representing Americans. If you watch him in other countries, he literally acts like exactly what other countries hate Americans. Being in the military and being stationed overseas for three years in Japan, the way that Logan Paul acts in Japan is frustrating to an American that actually cares about culture and travel and understanding other people. And to watch him not care and just think he's being funny and cool when in reality people in especially Japan, they're not confrontational. You can tell in those videos that nobody else likes him but he thinks he's the funniest, coolest person there. And millions of Americans are watching him and they idolize him and they look up to him and he goes and acts like that and he is literally leading our younger generation of America in the complete wrong direction of getting along with other countries. He acts like he's better than everyone else and that's what he's portraying to all these kids in these younger generations. But those are the people that are causing YouTube to get in trouble with advertisers. So YouTube's fix to all of this is let's put a threshold on channels that are small. Let's control the small channels because that's what we're gonna do to safeguard. We recognize we need more safeguards. So we are gonna control the smaller YouTubers. We're gonna control the smaller channels. We are gonna control everybody that isn't affecting the advertisers 
opinion of YouTube. We're going to control the people that haven't been messing up. We're not going to instate some policy that says if you are a YouTuber with X amount of million subscribers or hundreds of thousands of subscribers, we are going to assign you a YouTube employee that is going to be looking over your channel and making sure that you're following guidelines. They haven't done that. What they've done is said, if you don't get 4,000 views in a year, then you can't advertise because we're protecting YouTube. But nobody that gets that few of views, the advertisers don't care about them. Advertisers care about subscribers in the millions because they can advertise on Logan Paul's video and reach a million of people. But then Logan Paul puts out content that is bad for them. So then they're like, no, nah, we don't wanna even work with, because if your biggest people are doing this, then why do we want to work with anybody on YouTube? I'm just baffled at this is their response of we recognize we need more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem. No, YouTube. What you need to do is you need to have people be looking over the faces of YouTube, aka people with over a million subscribers. These people are literally the face of YouTube. They have more people watching them than 90% of YouTube combined. And to sit here and make a policy that only affects small, new, up and coming YouTubers is honestly frustrating. Now, I'm not in that situation. Again, I have a silver play button, but this upsets me when I see them say that we recognize we need to safeguard things. So we're gonna penalize the smaller YouTubers. YouTube. You need to make a policy that is overseeing the people that are the ones causing the issues with the advertisers. You're coming up with these fixes that aren't even fixing the problem. That's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, if, guys, leave your, your feedback down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm, I'm really interested in uh, what you guys think of this, especially if you guys have smaller YouTube channels. If you guys have recently received this email, because I literally just received it uh, 14 minutes ago. So... Let me know down below how you guys feel about this. Uh, even people that aren't YouTubers, but you watch YouTubers. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you watch some of these big YouTubers and then YouTube's fix is to penalize the small YouTubers that aren't causing the issue. I'm, I'm really curious if other people kind of see it the way I do or where they see it differently. Now, I'm totally for YouTube fixing the issues, but this, what they're fixing is not the issue. There are still issues that are not fixed with this policy. And that's my problem with it. I'm totally for things getting fixed and new policies, but I feel like this is just a blatant stab at small upcoming creators, basically saying that you're not worthy of advertisement because you don't get enough views. When the people that get a lot of views, the most views, are the ones causing the issue. I feel like YouTube has this one backwards. You guys should let me know down below. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. Got some really cool stuff coming up. Uh, you guys probably noticed I've been off the uh, off the YouTube scene on this channel for a little while, but uh, I've been working on a really, really big project, like one really big project for over a month now, and it should be coming out in February. So stay tuned for that, it'll be super exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys when I drop this huge project next month.